Well, I have to say this is very serious, folks, because if we don't pass Proposition uh, 30 in the state of California, uh, everything's going to have to be on the table. Wages, conditions, we're going to have to go to the Enterprise Departments, the Port Authority, uh, the Enterprise of Water and Power, and the airport. Uh, one silver lining into this, uh, this equation is that we're up 30% in condition and tourism, and that brings $325 million uh, into the general fund each and every year. And this year we're on, on uh, par to ex uh, expand that. And uh, so that's where I think that we're at at this point in time. But everything would have to come on the table uh, because it would be a very serious thing if we don't prop, uh, pass Prop uh, A uh, coming up, or Prop 30, excuse me, coming up in uh, this, this election. Of course, focus on the basics, the streets, the muting, the police, the fire. We have to stop thinking that we're going to fix all the world's ills in our 49 square mile bubble. And so we can't enable people uh, who are homeless to come to San Francisco across the other side of the bay. Uh, one exception, though, in social programs is that I think we owe it to our senior citizens. If you've lived here all your life, we can't let you go. We need to take care of you. That is, that is you know, you are, you are owed and due. Um, big elephants as far as where we can uh, cut costs. We've got $500 million we outsource to nonprofits, and sometimes we don't even know, you know what they're spending it on, uh, and pensions. We have to, someone has to talk about safety employees as heroes as they are who are retiring at age 50 at 90% of their income. We have to talk about that. Um, new revenue, um, you know, we should lean on the private sector uh, because, you know, the people on the Google bus and the Apple bus and working, they have, a, they have a vested interest in having a lot of arts in San Francisco. They have a vested interest in not a homeless being on the street. So. They can, through philanthropy, can kick in a lot where the city um, may have a hole in the budget. So it's about partnership. I think a lot of us have named the same thing, and that would be, you know, police and fire certainly would be critical, as would education. And how best to get the funds for that, the revenue for that. I think also pension reform, as been made, uh, mentioned, we would have to certainly look at that. Uh, several years ago, Mayor Newsom asked that Dennis Herrera and a woman by the name of Susan Hernandez do a white paper on nonprofits. And, uh, you know, you don't want to run and say there's waste and, and you want to clean this up and trim that. You know, but there is. There's duplication of services uh, for nonprofits. And certainly we would have to look at that much more closely and just trim, trim, trim and make sure that there's greater accountability. And then just in general, to, to change the climate in San Francisco having to do with things economic. And we don't seem to honor people here who are willing to take on risk and do things that are going to add to our economic well-being. And so we need to have legislation, all legislation, looked at through an economic prism to make sure that it makes sense and doesn't have a negative impact on either the economy or on jobs. Thank you. Education, health insurance, and safety net for our most vulnerable um, uh, citizens in San Francisco. So education is the, is, is the, the heart to the, uh, building a strong democracy. And there, we're talking about our future leaders that's going to take care of us. So where are we going to get the funding? Well, what I found out is that uh, Downtown Folk Corporation, um, when I first got in, they really didn't want to work with the school district because they said, what they said was that you really need to have a business plan if we want to give you money. And what happened is in the last few years, uh, downtown has been cooperating and uh, building partnerships with the school district because what we've said to them was that, look, we want a certain amount of money for to do this and we're going to help hold ourselves accountable. And once they saw us doing it over and over again, they've been supporting us. So they could be a big um, part of the answer in terms of where we get the funding. Build our economy, build our economy so that we get more tax revenue basis. So again, these are things that I would put as a priority. Education is very, well, I'm on the school board, it's very important to me.